of Cousin Tom. Being in the choir myself, but unable to read music, I occasionally find myself a little lost. Now, with that in mind, I wrote the following piece. You're allowed to laugh, by the way. It's amusing, I think. I hope you find it entertaining. Now, for the purpose of this humorous tale, which is best read in a rural accent, so I'll do my best, I want you to assume that your cousin has written to you as follows. Dear cousin, I thought you might like to know, is that all right? I thought you might like to know how I got on at the Braintree Male Voice Choir rehearsal I went to last Wednesday. Well, I do have a little bit of a tale to tell. We started off quite lively with a song called Nesson Dormer. Well, that sounds like Nelson's doormat to me. <laughs> that Pavarotti bloke, he sung it really well. Oh, no, not that well lately. Uh, it means that none shall sleep. I'm su not surprised considering the row we made. Now a bit about how the choir is made up. I've got to be a bit careful here. There are four different types of blokes, or groups I should say. Basses, baritones, and uh, first and second tenors. Uh, it's all a bit weird really. Now starting with the basses, I've been told this is as low as you can get. Looking at them, I can see what that means. <laughs> now for the Barry tones. This I don't understand. Uh, there is a Barry and a Tony. <laughs> um, but they're both in the basses, so that doesn't make any sense. Now, the tenors, that's another thing altogether. The musical director says he wants more tenors, but uh, who doesn't? <laughs> I wanted to help him out, but I've only got £6.50 in small change, so that was no good. The top tenors re reckon they're a bit posher than the second tenors. The second tenors are a bit like Scottish banknotes, not everyone accepts them. <laughs> uh, of course, as you know, musical ta talent runs in the family, my family. Old Uncle Eric comes to mind. Now, he was a real musician. He played the violin outside Tesco's every Saturday. <laughs> uh, my mum always said he was a bit of an artist. <laughs> anyway, Uncle Eric was good to me, unlike mum, he never called me stupid. He reckoned I'd have to go to evening classes to be clever enough to be stupid. <laughs> lovely man, lovely man. So back to the choir, the musical director likes us to be able to read music. Lord knows I've tried. All I can see is lots of dots and circles with tails. It looks like someone splashed black ink on lined paper. He goes on and about crotchets, mini mums, and sharps and flats. It do my head in, so I don't bother with it. I sing what I like all the time. If the tenor look good, I'll sing that. If the baritones is better, I'll sing that. I'm known in the choir as the man of many parts. So I must be doing something right, mustn't I? Anyway, on a Wednesday evening, it's a warm room, out of the rain. Might even sort old, suit old Uncle Eric. I'm not sure he should bring his violin, though. Seems like a friendly bunch. He might be right at home. Must break off now. Got some singing to do. I'll be in touch soon. Cousin Tom. <laughs>